So you've probably heard of Floyd Mayweather. And if you haven't, I'm not all that surprised. I mean, who's really given a shit about professional boxing in the last 10 years? It's a goddamn circus, and it has been for much longer than the last decade, that's for sure. But anyway, Floyd Mayweather, multi-time world champion in five different weight classes, undefeated in 43 fights, he's considered the best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world today, and he's also a woman beater. And legally, this isn't slander, because he has been tried and convicted of beating his ex-girlfriend. He also pleaded no contest to threatening to beat his kids. Real upstanding citizen here. So, he was sent to jail, but in the last few days, his lawyer has been trying to get his sentence reduced to house arrest because he's afraid poor pretty boy Floyd isn't getting the exercise and nutrition necessary to maintain his abilities as a professional fighter. Get this, he only gets an hour a day to work out, he has to drink tap water, and he's potentially only being served 800 calories a day compared to his usual 4,000 calorie training diet. Who fucking cares? He beat a woman in front of her children, in front of his children, but he feels he should get special treatment. Thankfully, for once, justice has prevailed, and the judge has essentially told Mayweather and his lawyer to go fuck themselves. This is a man who made $40 million in his last fight. $40 million! And was able to postpone this very jail sentence to do so, so he's already received special treatment. And even better, the sentence is only 87 days, with the potential for early release with good behavior. Less than three fucking months. Go slap your wife or girlfriend around and see how much time you end up spending in jail. I bet it won't be just some pissy three-month sentence. And he's been charged and convicted of domestic abuse before, in 2002 and 2004. This is a man who will clearly reoffend, who will use another woman as a heavy bag, and he gets 87 fucking days because he's a celebrity. This is the type of bullshit that kills me. Michelle Rodriguez served 18 days of a 180-day jail term for violating parole after being convicted of drunk driving and not doing what she was told. Paris Hilton has been guilty of drunk driving, possession of marijuana, and possession of cocaine, and hasn't served a full fucking day in jail for any of it. Chris Brown beat Rihanna and did no time for it. Charlie Sheen was convicted of beating his wife and only got a month of probation and 30 days in rehab. Fucking rehab! He essentially beat his wife and got sentenced to a resort for a vacation. And why? Why do celebrities get this type of treatment? Because they're important? They're not. And I know I'm repeating myself, but they're completely fucking useless. Just goddamn gestures for our entertainment and nothing more. I could see them doing this for doctors. A doctor gets charged with drunk driving or beating his wife and they're like, well, he's a doctor, we'll give him a reduced sentence because society needs doctors. Society doesn't need celebrities. There are more than enough. If 50 celebrities died in a plane crash tomorrow, the world has lost nothing. So who cares if some professional athlete who makes $40 million a fight loses some muscle mass and doesn't get his fucking Voss or whatever? He is a convicted woman beater. Put this fucker in gen pop and see how he likes being slapped around by someone bigger than him. And if he's lucky, he'll be able to use some of that money of his to keep himself from becoming some 250 pound biker's boyfriend.